All right, time now is 10, 11 a.m. on February 28th. Yeah, so, um, <clears throat> I slept from 3 a.m. to 10 a.m. That's seven hours, and it's not bad, not as bad as five. It's actually a huge difference. Um, I woke up at around 8 a.m. in the middle. Um, yeah, I guess it's my biological clock, and I couldn't fall back asleep for a while, so that's that. Um, so yeah, uh, my plan for today is, um, not much. Today there's photography too, photo too, so that's gonna be fun, I guess, I hope. Um, before photo two class, if I have extra time, I will go to the library to print out a form that I have to fill in for, um, for, um, um, for my USC application, which I need to finish ASAP, my supplemental, supplemental USC application. There's so many steps. There's a common app, there's a supplemental, and there's a second supplemental with the unimportant stuff, like the financial support statement and all that shit. I need to finish that. And then tonight, I'll probably go to DoorDash and order Pizza Hut or maybe something else. But, I, but I'm thinking pizza. I really am thinking pizza. Uh, maybe a 12 inch pizza so I can finish maybe like half today and then No, nah, but that's I don't know if there's like a 10 inch pizza if that's an option. I would definitely consider um, So that's exciting. I guess I Finished making my spending Google spreadsheet last night like I updated it and filled in all the money I've spent and I realized so far this month, I've spent 558 US dollars on food. And that is the most I've spent in the US so far. But honestly, it's not that ridiculously much because I think last November, I also spent like $557. Um, so it's not that ridiculously large. Apparently Cliff spent $700 on food at some point. Um, but yeah, you know, that's that. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Um, so yeah, one DoorDash today, one Ralph's tomorrow, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all. It's February 28th, so it's the last day of the month. <sighs> yeah, damn. I hope something interesting happens today, I guess. I hope, um, yeah, I just, I hope something interesting happens today. I, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, hope it doesn't rain super hard. Um, Pepper's gonna be there, and uh, I hope it's not too awkward between us. Um, and yeah, that's all. That's all for today. There's nothing else to talk about. The last week has been so uneventful. Like, two Sundays ago, and then last Sunday, didn't feel that far apart. It happened very fast. And that's a sign that um, nothing happened in between, you know. Round two felt really slow because of so much has happened in between everything. Um, but this one just doesn't really, you know, do that. Also, I spoke to Cliff yesterday about going to downtown LA to watch The Elephant Man. As much as he wants to, he does think that going to downtown LA at night is very dangerous, and I agree to. And even if it's not dangerous, it's a waste of... Um, money the uber fee and whatnot so um cliff won't go and because of that i probably won't as well meaning that i will be free again this saturday well oh and yesterday john l sent us an email saying that his shooting days for his short film is pushed by a week from march 31st 
to April 1st and 2nd, and then April um, 6, 7, 8, 9, I think. And I think, I think that works. I think that's totally fine for me. Um, yeah. And um, I'm pretty much finalized with my idea that I won't be submitting a script for Film 33. I just think, um, I just don't think that's something I could do. Like, not an I don't want another deadline. I need to learn to give up as well from time to time. The same way Alba and Pepper gives up on USC. Except I won't give up on USC, but I'll give up with this Film 33. Uh, with the script, because that's not what I want to do. That's too much, too much stress, and it's just another deadline. And another issue is that I don't want to forcefully think of a story. Um, when I write stories, it's best if I let it come out by itself, let it come out naturally. Um, because even if if the story idea is good after I forcefully make it. I'm still boxing myself in, like after an idea is set, sure I can rewrite it, but what I think of it will forever be distorted because there already is a quote unquote set idea. Like for instance, um, the Chinese history epic idea I used for my UCLA and USC applications. Um, the movie idea I had in mind is way bigger and way larger and way more ambitious. But after writing this, it's almost like I already have a fixed storyline. That's not true. It shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't feel like that. So yeah, same goes for this one. I'm going to eat French toast for breakfast. Um, some rice and cabbage and the pork slices that I cooked a couple days ago for lunch. Can't think of anything else. I don't want to eat the noodles. Um, and then uh, that's it. Yeah. All right, time now is shit. Time now is 7.41 p.m. Um, yeah, I just came back home. It's raining outside. It's not as bad as yesterday, but it is indeed raining. Thank God I'm not that wet right now. Um, I want to talk about um, what happened today so far. So I left and I went to uh, photo two. On the bus, I ran into Potter. Potter's wearing a sleek pair of sunglasses. Uh, turns out he just had like eye laser surgery for about $3,700. Holy shit. That's even more expensive than my Sony a7 III um, with the lens. Um, but uh, yeah, and he has to wear glasses to protect him from strong sunlight. Um, so yeah, you know, we talked. And I wanted to talk to him about Pepper, about my situation with Pepper, but um, A, there's nothing to be said. B, we were sort of distracted by other conversations. Like I asked him how, how he's doing and he asked me how I'm doing. He told me that in his other photography class, photography lighting class, um, cause um, shit. Um, how, how did this conversation start, honestly? Like, um, I think, um, hmm, shit, I don't know. I think, um, oh yeah, he saw that I watched Warrior of the Future, which is a Hong Kong movie I watched last night, and he's like, in a way, it's kind of art house, like, even though it's totally not art house at all, in a way it is, because it's telling people that hey this is uh this literally means nothing the story means nothing but it's worth spending a lot of money on and then that reminded me of how potter told me he wants to find a basic 
blonde bitch, like a basic Californian TikToker blonde bitch. And I mentioned how I listen to a lot of K-pop now, like New Jeans, and it's very mainstream, but I somehow that's enjoyable for me as well. And and then I mentioned this, and then he said, oh, actually, I've changed my taste again. And I'm like, what? You've changed your taste so fast? And he's like, yeah, I'm a Sagatorius, or Kinpengjo. I actually don't know what, what is the English name for that. I think it's Sagatorius. I could be wrong. Um, Taurus? No, no. Sagatorius. And, um, he's like, um, and I'm like, well, um, so what's her taste now? And he said in his photography lighting class, there's a, a girl in that class, um, who's kind of a tomboy and, uh, he's, she's always raising her hand and it's very annoying and everyone's fed up, but Potter's kind of interested in that now. So I'm like, okay, interesting. And then um, we got off the bus and we didn't have the time to talk about Pepper and stuff. So we continued to walk into the college campus and I said, you know, I'm, I'm going to go to the library to print out some stuff. And he's like, okay, I got something to do as well. Apparently, um, Potter has to pick up something for JT. I haven't seen JT in ages and I'll probably never see her again, but uh, okay. Okay, so... Um, yeah, um, so I walked very fast to the library, I went to the exact spot, the exact computer, and I printed it. It didn't go as smoothly this time, of course, the second time is always not as good as the first time. The printer was a little, I don't know, like something's wrong, like there isn't any paper in the tray, so I didn't know how to work it out, but I finally worked it out somehow. I somehow fed the white paper to another hole and it's it got stuck and then I forcefully pulled out the form but I got it I printed the paper I walked back to photo two and um I thought ooh, I still got a little time maybe I can now talk to Potter about my pepper situation and of course I stood around Potter isn't here so I just waited there and then boom to my left um in a far distance pepper and Potter showed up I guess I can't talk about it now and Pepper's looking a little different today. Her hair is blonde. So, yeah, for the first time in her life, probably, um, she's dyed her hair blonde. And I was a little shocked, but I did ex see this coming at some point because last semester, Pepper has been saying this to me multiple times. You know, oh, I want to dye my hair with crazy colors, light blue, pink, whatever. Blonde isn't that crazy, but it's an interesting choice. And honestly, she doesn't look good in it. She does not look good in it. Um, not really, because her personality just doesn't really fit blonde. Um, it just it just doesn't feel right. She's like a bubbly person, and blonde. I mean, that sounds like it, it fits blonde a lot, but and it isn't even like whitish blonde. It's like orange, basically. So yeah, and I just saw her and I didn't say a word. I just, I looked away and I stood at the side and it's just, okay. And then Alba came and she, she saw me first and she's like, hey, she turned around and she saw Pepper and she's like, oh, what is with your hair? And stuff like that. Okay, anyways, photo two begins and uh, hilariously Rigatoni returns, which is great news for me. Um, And we didn't do much today. We spent pretty much like 40 minutes taking a long ass break where uh, we didn't do much. We just took our film cameras, went out and took photos, but that's optional. Like, the professor told us, hey, you can shoot some if you want, whatever. And in the meantime, some people continued their assignment that they did last week, that we all did last week. You know, the printing stuff on the film paper, photograph paper. Um. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then throughout the entire day today, I and Pepper didn't even speak. I and Pepper made eye contact once, one moment in the dark room. And it was just one split second and that's it. And then we didn't speak to each other. We didn't even stand near each other. Oh, I did sit near her at one point. Um, I'll talk about that later. But yeah, we, during this humongous break from like 3.20 to 4 p.m., we just went around and we didn't have much to do and um, 
Yeah, we took some photos. There's this middle-aged Korean guy who who doesn't know anyone and he just followed me and I followed Alba and Alba followed Pepper and Pepper followed Potter and I was also following Potter and then another two girls who are friends and then one of the girls, Lily, she used she also knows Potter from the photo one class. So basically we went, but we're very loose. Like the Korean, the middle-aged Korean guy, he didn't speak to anyone. But like me a little bit and Alba a little bit. And he's just kind of hanging in the background somewhere. And I'm hanging in the background somewhere. At some point, Antoine the Lebanese showed up out of nowhere. But yeah, apparently my roll of film is fine. Like, I probably burned the first seven frames or so um, when I opened the back door of the film camera. But the rest of the uh, frame should be fine. Um, so yeah, I took a bunch of photos and then went back. We went to the professor's office to get some snacks. So I got to eat some snacks. That's pretty cool. And then that's it. We went back to the photo lab and we practiced rolling the film into the reel. Um, and I aced it. I fucking aced it. At first I was really confused. I didn't know what to do. Um, but then the professor turned off the lights and everyone had to do it. And I, I was probably the first one or at least the first few ones to finish it. You know, me and my Hong Kong are speed. No one can defeat me. Um, so that's pretty cool. It's also funny that uh, the Japanese teacher assistant and Aoba finally speak to each other in Japanese. Um, and Aoba's confused sometimes and I'm confused too. And the teacher assistant will just walk up to Aoba and blurt out a bunch of Japanese. Um, but yeah, Aoba's really friendly to me. Like, I feel like... Uh, Three-fourths of the time today, Aoba initiated a conversation with me. Three-fourths of all the instances. Like, she's really getting friendly with me. And I'm not saying, like, pepper levels of friendly. But she's really like, oh, um... Oh, yeah, um, I'm in my internship and I'm really busy. You saw my Instagram story, right? And, uh, you know, I'm asking my producer if, cause if uh, he needs help. Um, because I'm looking for a job, right? I'm looking really hard. So Alba's like, my internship company really needs help right now. And, um, and um, maybe you could help us. But the thing is, my internship company is full of Japanese people. So I don't know what you would be doing there. But maybe you could still do something there and maybe they could pay you. So Alba immediately texted her produ the producer guy and he said, oh yeah, we need help, but we won't be paying. So I guess not. And Alba says that it sucks being there and Alba wants to leave. Alba doesn't really care about surrounding herself with Japanese people. She wants to go out and branch out and she basically doesn't really care. So um, yeah, I mean, again, it's just like that, that thing, like phase one, phase two, phase three. Phase one, you really want to look for people of your kind. Phase two, you really want to avoid people of your kind. Phase three, you don't care anymore. Um, so yeah. Um, at one point we had a break again, like a fifteen minute break. Dimitri gave me a cookie from him, from his house. Um, so that's funny. And also gave one to Alba. Um, everyone's just giving cookies to each other at this point. Um. And then, um, yeah, I got to speak with Rigatoni a little bit. He took some photos with his film camera to us, and I was getting friendly with him. I was like, ooh, because his, his, the lens on his camera, on his film camera, was a little complicated. So I was like, ooh, it looked complicated. And he's like, complicated? Didn't you learn it in film 31? And I'm like, that's not what I mean. Like, I just said the lens looked complicated. Like, f-stops are not a complicated concept for me. And I joked around, I'm like, ha ha ha. I remember, I remember. And then he tried to take a photo of us, and then it's Dimitri, Aoba, Pepper, and I want to be in the photo too. So I sat right next to Pepper, and Pepper's like... So I just... It's awkward. And I probably wasn't even in the camera, because the camera's 50 millimeter. There's no way I was, like, I was right at the edge of the frame, if not outside of the frame. Um, What else? I asked Rigatoni if um, they're filming something for his film 32 in him. And he's like, no, he's just gonna be preparing stuff. 
but I'm still gonna go. So I spoke to Evelyn, the JoJo fan, and I said, okay, I can see you this Friday, I'm gonna give you the figurine. And she's like, great. And um, I said, I'm gonna bring my figurines to her too, show off, maybe I'll bring my mangas, but I won't show it in broad daylight. And I will clean it all up when I get back home. But yeah, holy cow, this is amazing, wow. I'm also going to intrude film 32, might as well. Um, because I'm curious on what the heck's going on in, on their side. Um, yeah, and then, um, that's that. Um, and then we went to, uh, the lecture room a little bit. Um, the classroom in the business building. I didn't even sit near Pepper. I sat with Dimitri and Aoba, and I gave Aoba my notebook. I never even gave Pepper my notebook. Pepper never was never interested in my notebook. I was drawing notes on my notebook and Alba's like, what are you drawing? And I'm like, oh, notes. And he's like, what, you could draw that? Like you, you could write that? Cause the film stuff is so technical. The way we, you know, put, put the film through the hole of the reel and whatnot. It's so practical. Like how the hell do you write anything on it? How do you put it in the word? And I said, you know, I, I just drew. And they're like, wow, it's amazing. How did you do that? I'm just so good with writing notes, and I enjoy writing notes. It's so good. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Alba, like right off the bat, Alba asked me, what do you think of Pepper's new hair? And then I'm like, oh, I mean, yeah. I, I was surprised too. And I asked Alba if she had dyed her hair. Apparently she has already, like a week ago. She dyed her hair a little black like like black tips and whatnot and I'm like I did not notice it and she's like yeah I'm very disappointed she says she's gonna dye it again to make a bigger change and she said you know might as well because I'm in America not in Japan you know in Japan I can't do that and then he she asked me if it's like that in China and I said well first of all Hong Kong second of all yeah it's also like that like in secondary school you can't dye your hair but in university you can and I was like yeah of course in university you can um, hmm, nothing else. And then um, at the very end of the class, I walked up to Rigatoni and asked him, you know, how about the letters of recommendation? Where the fuck are my letters? I didn't say that, but you know, I, I said in a very roundabout way, oh, so did you receive the request? And he's like, I haven't checked my emails. And he asked me what, what from what website is this? And I said, common app. And he's like, okay. And then the photography professor heard us and he's like, Hey, Enoch, hey, Rigatoni. And then that's it. And then at that point, Pepper, Potter, they left first and then Alba left later. And I'm just left alone. So I just walk back to the bus stop and I thought I would see them. They're not there for some reason. So I just took a bus and went back home. I don't know where they are, but um, if I stick around with Pepper and Alba and Potter, it would be a little awkward. So it's totally okay. Um, and besides, I need to go home as early as possible so that I could have dinner. So I ordered food on um, DoorDash, actually. And it's so expensive. I hate doing this, but I also want to because I want pizza. So I ordered um, Santa Monica Pizza Kitchen 10-inch um, cheese pizza with meatballs, mushrooms, and um, olives. And then... I added a Caesar salad. I wanted to, to order Caesar salad. So pizza, pizza Hut doesn't have salad for some reason. And that sucks. I love salad. Come on, what the fuck? So I, so I thought maybe I should order it separately, like at a place that specifically makes salad. And those places makes even more expensive salad. So I'm like, fuck it, you know what? And then I found Santa Monica Pizza Kitchen. It's cheaper. It probably doesn't taste that great. But you know what? I don't care. I just want food. Um, and then on top of that, I had an, I ordered New York cheesecake. There is no soup, unfortunately. And the pasta is also kind of expensive, like $10, $11. 10 to $11 is cheap, but they are supposed to be a la carte. They're small pasta. And if they're really small and they're still 10 fucking dollars, like what the fuck? So I got New York cheesecake. That should be good. I've been drooling for a cheesecake for months now. Um, so yeah, looking forward to the meal, I guess. All right. Well, oh well.
Eh, it's fine, I guess. It's the New York cheesecake. Oh, what? What the? Okay, so apparently I didn't order a salad for, um, well, great. Uh, apparently that wasn't in my order somehow. So I'm going to quickly cook myself something like a vegetable dish. All right, let's try this. It's okay. Okay. Here to try something new. This is um cooked cabbage and onions, but I'm gonna use some sesame sauce. Alright, this is the cheesecake. Um, holy crap, I've been salivating for this for so long. I got some scraps from the freaking box. Ooh, okay. Okay, without further ado, All right, time now is uh, 12.37. Yeah, I don't have much else to talk about. Um, yeah, my phone has literally no storage space at all. Um, the pizza was very mid, it was very mediocre. Should have ordered from Italian Express. At least this one is cheaper. I don't know why, I ordered Caesar salad. Um, but then apparently it didn't get into the order and I even DM'd the DoorDasher saying, didn't I also order a salad? And then I checked and I'm like, never mind. So I just made vegetables on my own, a simple fried cabbage onion thing, which is very lame. I even added sesame sauce on it for some reason and it tasted fine with the sesame sauce. But yeah, uh, I long for some salad and soup someday, someday. Um, but yeah, I also uh, DM'd Aoba and asked her for the ICC delegate thing, but also for um, what happened. I asked her if she left before me or after me, because when I went to the bus stop, everyone's gone. Turns out they left after me, because um, when Aoba, Pepper, and Potter left together, um, and Aoba was wondering where the heck is Enoch. Turns out, so I asked them, oh, maybe, maybe you left earlier than me. Turns out they have to wait for the bus for 15 minutes. Whereas when I went to the bus stop, the bus num like the bus number seven immediately showed up. And apparently for Aoba, Pepper and Potter, bus number seven just passed by them and they had to wait 15 minutes in the rain, in the cold, which sucks for them. Um, so I actually left earlier than them. Apparently they went back to the dark room. Um, so that's that, but I truly don't care. Um, it would have been more awkward if I was with them anyways. Especially after I get off the bus at the same bus stop with Pepper. And then we have nothing to say to each other. Um, that would be really awkward. But yeah, hopefully Pepper doesn't show up tomorrow. That would ruin my plans. Actually, that wouldn't. Pepper would literally make no difference at all. Um, yeah. I probably won't watch anime tonight. I'm sleepy already. All right, time now is 9.54 a.m. on March 1st. I don't know why the air vent is on automatically again for no fucking reason. But yeah, we've made it to March. Ooh! All right. So, um, 
Yeah, I slept from 3 to 9.30. Um, and uh, I just couldn't sleep earlier. I'm glad I'm not sleeping later than 3. Like, I'm not pushing it later and later and later. But I'm not sleeping earlier either. So, this is lame. Um, yeah. I, uh, I don't know. I, ooh. I didn't have much of a dream. Today is a uh, Wednesday, which means it's fo photo one. So about 20 minutes later, I'm going to have to leave the apartment and go out again for class. And then immediately after that, I need to go to Ralph's because otherwise I would be starving. Um, yeah. Um, I'm going to go to Ralph's, come back home, and that's it for today. Nothing else. Um, yeah, there's nothing to talk about as of this moment. There's nothing to look forward to. There's nothing to talk about. There's nothing happening in my life right now. For a week straight or two, nothing happened to me. Um, huh. I don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I just want to say uh, I hope March would be more eventful. Fingers crossed. Then March would be as eventful. That would pick up the pace again. Uh, things will happen again. Um, HKSA 2.0, come on, you can do it. You can do something about it. Um, hopefully, I find a job. Hopefully, um, I move on with life without the help of Pepper. Um, yeah. I really don't think I and Pepper will ever hang out again. To be fair, we never hung out. We never hung out truly, like we never hung out just the both of us, just because. Like we hung out because it's the uh, film 32 just ended and we have a little spare time. We hung out because we're also with Potter and JT. Like we've never hung out just the both of us. Um. But yeah, I, I don't expect to ever even like hang out with her anymore in life and stuff. I can hang out with Potter. And because I'm not hanging out with Pepper anymore, I'm not going to hang out with JT anymore. Because somehow Pepper's even closer to JT than to me. Which makes sense, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess that's, that's that. Um... I don't know, man. I think I think first order of things is to really get a job that I can buy clothes that I want to wear, eat food that I want to eat because I get the money and then I would feel a lot better. I think that's that. Um, also, apparently, Alba is already beginning her trek into the world of driver's license. Like, she just booked an appointment with DMV next Monday. So, um, yeah, you know, got to do something with that as well. Um, and uh, got to do it ASAP as well because, you know, it apparently DMV is very busy. Um, and then that's it. Nothing else. All right, it's 4.01 p.m. This is what I got. Lucky Charms. Oh my god, carrying this back home is a pain in the ass. Got broccoli. You've got to be kidding me. Okay. Um, we got uh, five white potatoes here. Um, there's supposed to be five. I don't know why there's four. Oh, there we fucking go. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Okay. Uh, two garlic. 
two bell peppers, one red, one orange. That's my umbrella. I'll handle that later. Oh, fuck. Carne asada. Beef chopped up cubes. Chicken thighs. Excited for this. Triple brownie ice cream. Thank you, Thomas, for inspiring me to eat this, and I have to buy it. Broccoli salad. This is the only salad box that I love. I know this is unhealthy, but Indian food, I miss it. Oh, fuck. Milk. Black beans, more, and then I believe that's it. Somehow all this is only 55 bucks. All right, time now is uh, 4.17 p.m. Just came back home again. Let's talk about today. So yeah, went to photography one class today again. Uh, got late by like eight minutes. Uh, stupid bus. I was literally running. I was, I, first of all, I have to take two buses to school, right? To the main campus. Fuck, that's a fucking fly. Hell. I don't want the fly to die here though, because it's really difficult to find the fly here. Fuck, and also the air vent is on again, like something's wrong with the air vent. But yeah, anyways, um, I was literally running from, so I walked, I was like, you know what, fuck it. So I walked, um, instead of taking the first bus, I just walked to the second bu bus stop. And then I, uh, I saw the bus pass by me bus seven so i'm like fuck it so i waited for another 11 minutes and then the next bus comes on like buses are such oh. um and then um you know wrapped at school and pepper didn't show up today pepper did not which really didn't make a difference at all so i sat down and um today we basically did a couple things we um we had our first assignment where we have to take the same photo, okay, at the same spot, but with all sorts of different settings, different f-stops and different ISO, and uh, and that's that's it, you know. So um, we all left the classroom and we went out to the stairs at the car park, and uh, we took some photos of the HSS, Human and Social Sciences Building, and we took a lot of them, and again, um, I. I, out of all the students, the only one that I speak to now in photo one is this Latino guy whose name is Trevor. And, um, yeah, he has blue hair now instead of green. But he's chill. And, um, I don't want to be only stuck to him because he's really new to me, you know. So I wanted to branch out. But it was still awkward because I, I there isn't there still isn't a lot of opportunity where I could branch out, and there are the Korean girls. For some reason, every single class, a photo one I take, there are fewer Koreans. Today there are only like four or five maybe, like um. Yeah, it's just uh, not a lot. But there were still three Korean girls who constantly hang out. Just the three of them. Um, constantly in a group, constantly chatting, and I didn't get to socialize with them at all. And then, funny enough, we have our second exercise, which is not an assignment, where outside of the classroom, we're going to try substitute metering, where we put our hand in front of the camera, and we meter to the hand, so that the hand is properly exposed. We take off the hand and expose with the face. Um, and, uh... I, so the professor told us to form two lines and I was with Trevor and the three Korean girls were beside us and they were just sort of like together always all the time and we had to form two lines and so of course I stuck with Trevor, the Korean girls stuck together. Turns out it's, you know, we form two lines and then we face each other so my partner wouldn't be Trevor and because the Korean girls were right beside me, my partner was a Korean girl was one of the three um, and so is Trevor. Trevor also ended up with another Korean girl. So this is the first instance of socialization between, between me and them actually. So um, 
yeah, it, it just happened naturally, and that's great. Like, I didn't even get to ask her name. It's a... The Korean girls are actually quite tall. You know, it's funny because I recently watched a video essay on why Koreans are growing so exponentially tall. Now, now I'm remembering that video essay. And, and those three girls are also quite tall. I'm like, damn, that's intriguing. But yeah, um, she's like maybe one CM lower than me, but still quite tall for an Asian girl. And um, she's she's got black hair. She's not that appealing or anything but she's fine and she's really shy but we did it i didn't even ask her name or what's her major or anything i'm just i just got this thing done like hopefully in the future you know i could branch out more but um yeah that's that because that's a pretty cool instance and then that's it and then our class is over um i went back home I was carrying a backpack and a camera bag, so I decided to go home first, put down my stuff and have a quick lunch and then go out again for Ralph's. So that's what I did. I came back home. I had 180 milliliters of white rice, eggplants fried with garlic, with sugar and salt and soy sauce. And then I had the pork slices that I previously cooked a few days ago. Boom, 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 ate it up. Felt very nutritious. Went out for Ralph's, came back. Um, I bought a lot of stuff, but apparently all that only adds up to $55. Um, to be fair, my basket was really full and I couldn't add anything more. Like I still wanted to buy other stuff like oatmeal and like alcohol spray, but I didn't buy them at the end. Um, carried them back home. Here I am. Yeah, not much else to talk about. All right, time now is 10.54 p.m. Um... Yeah, not a lot happened today. I just had dinner. I spoke to Candace, the white woman roommate, a little bit. Um, she talked, she asked me how is the university decisions, and I said, I don't know yet. The earliest would be UCLA. And then she talked a little bit about how, um, 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 if my parents, um, like, she asked me what field of filmmaking do I like and is that directing and then she asked me if my parents are supportive of it I said yes my parents were actors and then she said oh your parents are from Hong Kong right and I'm like yeah and then she's like so do you like Hong Kong better or LA better and I'm like living Hong Kong's better because LA is very dirty and expensive and she's like yeah especially downtown but Orange County is really nice because she used to live in Orange County so that's that yeah not much else nothing else to talk about um, tomorrow, Thomas will not be picking up, picking me up and driving me to school because Thomas needs to go to the main campus to print out his scripts. Um, and, um, she needs to arrive. She wants to arrive at the main campus at 8.15. Um, and go to the library and print stuff and then go to CMD, which means that she, if I were to follow him, I would have to be on his in his car at like 7 45 to him it's all right because he sleeps there early to me that's a fucking issue so i will not go with him tomorrow so uh tomorrow i will go to school by myself and also return to home by myself as well also i'm noticing like oh these are the side of my head yeah but like like there i'm beginning to form i don't know what should i call this ear flaps your your hair not your hair that's not it um hair flaps hair flippers whatever like because my hair is getting real long now and it's like it's it's going out a little bit on top of my ear and that's really nice i like that i look forward to having that sort of stuff you know pepper dyes her hair into blonde and it's kind of unpredictable and crazy you know what's a more what's even more unpredictable and impressive me having long hair because that's commitment that's not me splashing some colors on my head. This is me growing hair and being patient. Yeah. She will not see it coming. She will see it coming because I'm continuously growing it. But if she hadn't seen me for like five months and I return and then I have like long hair, she's going to be like, oh my God. That is the plan. You know, I just want to grow long hair until June and then I'll cut it all and I will look fresh and new again. Um, but yeah, that's, that's that. Um... 
Yeah, and then also Thomas wants to go for an adventure on Friday to uh, take some photos for some university portfolio that he's working on. And um, yeah, I said I can't because he wants to go very early in the morning. And again, I don't want to wake up. <laughs> Fuck, early in the morning. And um, I got to see Evelyn at 2 p.m. And I also want to intrude Friday film 32 if possible. Um, yeah, not much else, really. I have nothing else to talk about. Nothing's happening to me so far. Um, but then again, I hope something interesting happens. Um, in March, I hope something interesting happens. I truly am. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I do not know. I really have nothing to talk about. Holy shit. For the last couple of hours, I've been doing nothing but just like stuck. Um, should I watch a movie? I'm not in the mood to watch a movie either, honestly. I don't want to force myself. I'm just going to watch a couple of episodes of anime. Eat something again. I'm really, for the last five days in a row, I've been eating 2,300 calories. I'm going to weigh myself a little later. You know what? I'll weigh myself now. I'll weigh myself now. Hold on. Why not? Fuck it. Okay. Oh. Please, please improvement. Please. Ooh, What? Okay, I've improved. No, no fucking way. All right, time now is um 8:02 a.m. on March 2nd. I slept from 2 f and my roommate woke up. Great. I slept from 8:50. To eight. 2.50 to 8. So a little more than 5 hours. At least it's earlier than 3 a.m. Acne's back. Which is nice. It's always attacking the same spots. Like I had acne here and here. And then it's fine again. And then it's not fine again. I had acne here. And then it's fine again, it's not fine, and then now it's not fine. It's always attacking the vulnerable spots, you know. But yeah, today's a Thursday, which means there will be film 33, so I'm excited for that. I hope something interesting happens. Um, and then um, maybe the Mexican professor will let us back home earlier in that case that would be cool um because i would have more time to do things than if i go back home earlier um and i would also don't have to eat lunch outside which saves some money i guess but doesn't save some calories um Damn, I'm so tired. Um, and it's so cold outside. <sighs> yeah, we're going to be messing with the Sony Venice camera today, so that's gonna be very fun. Um, spoke to Cliff a lot last night. Um, Cliff is moving forward with a short film, and I want to be UPM. So, uh, and Cliff said that's totally possible. Miles has a car now and he can drive me, Cliff, and Pepper there because we all live in a similar vicinity. And yeah, apparently Pepper is also doing makeup for Cliff's short film. So that's that. Um, so yeah, hey, I want to work on some short films, bro. 
Um, yeah, that's it for today. Nothing else to talk about. Nothing else to expect. Leslie has become a regular smoker. Like, I looked at her Instagram story, and it's just her holding a cigarette. Side by side with someone else holding a lollipop or something. And it's like, aesthetics, you know. But then that's also, you know, again, I respect someone who is a little bit crazy like Leslie. You know, if only Pepper is as crazy as Leslie. That would make Pepper 50, 100 times more interesting. Um, than what she is doing now, which is boring and goofy and silly. Um, yeah, I need to sleep earlier tonight. The goal, 2.30, maybe, I don't know. Fuck. That dog just wiped his snot on my glove. I love it when that happens. So, I got it to like 89. Okay. Oh, there. 90 yeah, goes 90, red. 90's oh. red. There's always a reason. But, okay. Um, but this, yeah. This is where we have our for our first AC so that's basic that's the basic build that's the basic all right time now is um 7 32 p.m let's talk about what happened today so far um yeah so um there's a bit to digest there's a bit to talk about because today might be the most eventful class I've had uh, in the entire semester so far and that's not saying much because so far my life has been kind of boring in round three so not too much happened today but in comparison with February it's been the most eventful class so I took a bus to college today I was late by a couple minutes no worries, I was totally fine, the roll call happened, and so people started submitting scripts. Um, so the script submission has begun, and it turns out there are about 11 scripts, 10 or 11 scripts being submitted to the Mexican professor, and for some reason the Mexican professor was kind of disappointed that there were so few submissions, even though 11 is like one third of the class, actually even more than that. And there are collaborations as well. So Thomas submitted his period spy thriller script that is super overly ambitious. And then we have um, Eric who submitted Pepper's script. Um, it's funny how Pepper didn't ask me. I guess Pepper thought I would submit my own script, but I didn't. I didn't submit a script. So Pepper asked Eric to submit her script. Um, so Eric submitted on Pepper's behalf. Pepper's uh, in time story idea, which is never going to get chosen, by the way. Um, and then aside from that, um, we have, uh, hold on, I actually have a freaking list. I asked Thomas to write it down on a piece of paper, um, like the list of um, the list of people who have submitted scripts, because I am fucking detective. Um, oh, Michelle's texting me already. Hold on, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Amy, the Indonesian girl. Alex, there's a short white guy with blonde hair. Andres, the big buff Latino guy. Um, and then the Trinity gang, Trinity, Jaden, Liam, and Ava submitted a psychological thriller about um, a woman who woke up in the hospital in the 60s. And that's very interesting. But um, our Mexican professor hates... A uh, whore, so maybe that won't work. Leia submitted a script. Don't know what's it about. Shane, Red, and Benny submitted a script together, and it's about a guy overcoming OCD, which is a little boring. And then a woman, white woman by the name of Skylar, submitted a script about a transgender beauty pageant. 
uh, which is ultra liberal. But I don't think the Mexican professor will choose her because giving the writers credit to two white women in a row is kind of whack because last semester, wow, exclamation mark, is written by a white woman as well. And I know they liberal as hell, but not two in a row. That's not going to work. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, a lot of scripts and I'm excited to know who will win but my prediction is Andres the big buff Latino guy because he has connections he seems like he knows what he's doing and also there's no way in fucking hell will the Mexican professor pick Shane Red and Benny it's just three white dudes um transgender pageant again no way they're gonna give it to another white woman they won't pick Pepper script Thomas's script is too ambitious Honestly, it's likely that there will be a second round of script submission. In that case, I may consider submitting. But I have five extremely good reasons for not submitting a script. A, if my script gets chosen, people will hate me for it. Some people will be jealous of me. B, I don't even want to be chosen in the first place. C, it's too stressful being chosen. Uh, D, if, I, if my story gets chosen, the college will own my story idea. And then E, I hate rushing a story and um, setting deadlines for myself when it comes to writing stories. Okay, so yeah, that's that. So for the next three hours or so, from 9.30 to 12.30, we basically watched the first five minutes of a movie called uh, On My Lips, a French film, and we basically analyzed the fucking shit out of it. We watched the opening credits and we basically talked about it for half an hour. And then we watched the first few seconds and we talked about it for like a whole hour. And it was really boring at first. It does get a little interesting a little later. We went to the auditorium and it was really relaxing. But uh, yeah, I was just so like distracted. And I was sleepy and very hungry. I only ate two chocolate chip cookies this morning. Now, uh, we hit lunchtime. We didn't have a break. We immediately got to lunchtime from... 12 20 to 1 15 and i wanted to go out and have lunch but there isn't a gang where i could do that um so um yeah uh i i don't know i don't know so i and benny and eric and a couple of other people hung around a big table and just chatted a little bit and then i was like man i kind of want to go out and then in the cafe, I saw Michelle, uh, the Persian Latina girl who um, who's really uh, close to me. And we've been talking for a while. And uh, she's like, hey, and she hugged me. And I, again, as a Hong Konger, as a loner, I don't expect people hugging me. So I was like, hey. And she's like, whoa, you didn't give me a real hug? And I'm like, okay, fine, let's do it again. Um, and then, um, yeah, we talked a little bit. Michelle asked Red House the class so far and he talked a little bit i talked a little bit and our stories lined up it was all good and then i and eric so thomas brought his own lunch i wanted to go out and buy food i got some snacks in my backpack like some schnitzel biscuits and some uh, nature valley granola bar but i don't want to eat that stuff i want to eat something like mcdonald's or something so um but we didn't have a lot of time after talking a bit so i ended up going to the cafe uh, cafe russo and i got a cinnamon roll and a cup of mocha for nine and a half dollars, uh, which is fine. It's not a lot for lunch. I need calories. I'll eat two chicken thighs later tonight. So that's 480 cows. That's going to work for me. But yeah, I got a cup of mocha. It tastes great. I'm slowly getting acclimated to caffeine. You know, it doesn't taste bitter or anything for me at all. It tastes completely fine. And I'm sure latte, I'm fine with latte now as well. I'm ready to move on to harder coffee. Um, you know, <laughs> I'm talking about coffee as if it's a drug, but it kind of is, you know, in a way. Um, and then we, uh, and then we have, um, the rest of lunchtime where I continue to stick around with, uh, Benny and, um, Eric and, uh, this black girl by the name of Toba and Skylar, the white woman. And, um, I think uh, Shane was there at some point. And uh, we just chilled and talked about stuff in general. A uh, red was there, and then um, yeah, um, apparently you get free food at the cafe. I didn't know that, and it's 
not like cinnamon roll and stuff. And it's, it's like actual salmon and beans and stuff, which is not great, probably not delicious. Probably tastes like military rations, but at least I'll have those because I know it's protein rich. So next Thursday, I'll consider that. Um, but um, yeah, um, yeah, I will. Um, uh, yeah, Tova was like, um, she was interested in being the behind the scenes person. And I told her, oh, I was the behind the scenes photographer for last short film. And she's like, wow, tell me more. And then I started talking about, ooh, I got fish eye lens, blah, blah, blah. And it doesn't seem very interesting. So at some point I left because I'm curious. Um, so I walked and I saw Leslie come out of uh, her editing class. And I don't know why, but lately I've been thinking, Leslie's a lot more interesting. Not a lot more, a bit more interesting than I thought she is. And I've been meaning to speak to her a little bit. And she's there with her strand of blue hair. She's in her blue period. When I first met her, she's red and now she's blue. She changes every semester. Um, but, um, yeah, um, but I didn't really get to speak to her until a lot later. Um, but anyways, I went all the way across the little outdoor area to the other gang where we have Leia the Czech, Liana the Russian girl, Birkin the Turkish guy, um, who else was in there? Um, I think that was it. And there was a couple other, like, Arabic people. That's not in our class. And I and Eric went there. We socialized a little bit. I stayed silent for the most part. But I was chill about it, you know. And then I spoke to Thomas a little bit. And then, and then that's pretty much it. Um, so it's good that I'm socializing with everyone. And I'm slowly seeing gangs being formed. Which is great. You know, if I want to be a good UPM... It's good that I socialize with everyone, that I'm able to convince everyone to do things, and that I have roots, you know, I, I have connections with people, you know, I, I know things, I collect information. I'm very good at that, you know. Um, so we went back to the classroom, uh, the studio, where we have Drew, the white guy, professor assistant, and uh, Leslie. So for the last couple of semesters, it was a Kazakh guy by the name of Rustam, but he has graduated from his university and now he is replaced by Leslie, who has become the spirit guardian, who has promoted to become a guardian spirit of my college's film program, uh, is aka working for the equipment room. So that's really interesting to see her in this in a status as like this mysterious background person when she's studying in film 32. Um, but yeah, um, Drew set up the Sony Venice camera with big tripod, big camera head, big camera, lots of equipment. And we all just watched, we all stood around and watched in awe and amazement. And it was very interesting. Um, Rigatoni showed up, um, and watched us for a little while. And uh, we all got to try putting on a Zeiss 50 millimeter T2.1 lens and then putting it off. Everyone got to try. And um, it was fun. And I'm starting to uh, see, notice things about people. Amy, the Indonesian, I thought she would be really quiet. And she is very quiet for the most part. But she's also not the, you know, fish out of water kind of quiet. She speaks to Tova, the black girl, a lot, and she's well-mannered. She doesn't seem like the other Indonesian girl I saw last semester in film, too. Um, and then, um, what else? Um, Theo is getting along really well with the Trinity gang, for better or worse. Andres, I saw him, he asked me what's my name. Um, the big Latino guy, that's him. Um, there's this woman who is, um, apparently she's, she got into UCLA TFT and then she came back. She grew up in Russia and then she is uh, a couple with Orson, uh, who is a white guy with mustache, um, who's in our class. And then, um, Carly's also surprisingly, not surprisingly, I know she's close, but Carly's really close to the Trinity gang. I wouldn't say she's a part of it though. Um, yeah, so far that is that. 
but you know I'm seeing patterns now so that's interesting and I was feeling very loose um, I wore my jacket in a funny way and I was feeling nice I guess um, um but yeah you know I spoke to a few people I, I actually at during lunchtime I saw Jonathan and Tyler um, eat lunch together they went to Marakai and brought rice bought rice and kind of I get chicken and I got to eat a couple more fried pieces of fried chicken with them and I joked around I'm like ooh, this is like the craft tables of all times and Tyler was like laughing also Tyler was wearing this shirt this hoodie where there's Japanese words and I'm fucking linguistic genius or something and I was able to read it and he's like oh yeah you know it, it means kill everyone right I want to kill all pigs that's literally what it says like mina me korosu suru or something and then uh subete no buta korosu you know so that's pretty interesting um yeah i don't know um i got to speak with leslie a little bit uh near the end of the class i was like oh you're in your blue period and she's like yeah her italian friend who is a wife like a mom already chiara told her that she looks really depressed and I'm like, yeah, here we go. Here is the phase. And um, a bit later, I and her got to continue our conversation. Um, at around 4 p.m., the class finishes. And then I didn't want to go home that fast. Um, so I just sat outside with Eric and Jonathan. We just chatted. And um, I don't know, at some point I told... Both Eric and Jonathan. I, I said it twice. I said I'm training myself so that I can identify if an East Asian person is Japanese, Chinese, or Korean. And Jonathan was like, what, you're being racist or something? And then um, Jonathan talked about Anime Con and I said, oh, in Hong Kong it's like four times cheaper. And then um, I, and then um, Jonathan t told me about like American history and how uh, the American government has killed so many Native Americans in the 1800s, the Trail of Tears and whatnot. And both Eric and Jonathan aren't leaving because both of them are driving. And at that point, the traffic is terrible and they sort of want to wait it out. But it just gets worse and worse and worse. Jonathan needs to drive for two hours to get home when it usually is supposed to be like half an hour or 40 uh, or, or 20 minutes. Um, but, you know, welcome to L.A., I guess. Um, so I decided to stay around and um, um, I spoke with Leslie a little more. I asked her, you know, if she's getting paid and she said she will start getting paid. And also um, I told her about my job situation and she said I could speak to the career center. And then, um, yeah, and um, not much else. I told her everyone's dyeing their hairs. You know, Aoba is gonna dye her hair again. Pepper's dyed her hair. Apparently, um, apparently, um, Leslie already knows that. Apparently, someone told Leslie that Pepper has dyed her hair. Um, and I'm like, and, and she asked me if I want to dye my hair, and I'm like, no, black fits me. It's just that I want to try different hairstyles. I'm gonna grow my hair super long, I guess. Um, but yeah, essentially, there's that. I also joked around. I joked about rigatoni uh, and and leslie like punched me in the shoulder and laughed and stuff um but yeah and then um the girl who's born the woman who's born in macau and raised in beijing um crystal uh she showed up from her film five with professor um with the bald guy professor who's my second favorite who's a very intelligent guy and apparently Patrick and Betsy are also in his class. So I spoke to Patrick a little bit. We fist bumped. I saw Betsy. We said hi to each other. And I briefly said hi to Crystal. At some point, because um, um, later tonight at 5 p.m., basically now, um, Leslie needs to return to CMD to help the equipment room for Film 31. So, and Leslie only ate a couple protein bars for lunch, so she wants to get food. So she asked me if I want to join her to go to Ralph's, and I didn't at the end, even though I was down. But also at the same time, Thomas and this other bald guy, Carmelo, <laughs> there's so many bald people. Thomas and this other guy, uh, Carmelo, are having a meeting up top. 
at um, CMD second floor. Um, and uh, I wanted to go there as well because I'm the fucking vice president of uh, Script Writing Club. So I never left. And then Leslie went with uh, Crystal at the end. So I walked up and I ran into Miles. And um, Miles is growing out her hair as well. And he's the producer for Cliff's short film. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to be UPM, right? And he's like, well, yeah, you're basically going to be the one bringing the food in and out. So not much of a UPM. I don't even know what you're trying to do. So I'm like, okay, I'm just trying to make sure everything goes right. And he's like, well, isn't that everyone's jobs? And he's like, man, I'm such a shit producer. And there's another guy with him. So Miles is essentially writing notes for his business class. Um. And oh yeah, when I came to... um. When I went to Cafe Russo with Eric and came back, I saw the bald guy professor and I'm like, hey. And he's like, hey. Um, anyways, I went to the meeting with Thomas and Carmelo and we talked and talked and uh, it was sort of futile because this club is going to crumble and it's too ambitious. We don't have the money. That's that. And then um, that's it for today. Um, Thomas drove me home at the end. And now I'm talking to Michelle over Discord. Um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty interesting. Pretty um, somewhat interesting class so far. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, on second thought, maybe I won't submit a script, even if there's a round two. I just really don't want to be chosen. Um, and I guess, oh yeah, one very interesting and slightly disappointing thing is that I, I told Leslie... I may crash tomorrow's film 32 um, because I want to, because I'm bored. And Leslie's like, what are you talking about? Um, there isn't a film 32 tomorrow. It's canceled because there's faculty meeting. And I'm like, what? Um, yeah. And then I told Cliff about it and Cliff's like, what? I haven't heard anything about it. There is an announcement on it or anything. So it's really weird. But if that's true, then it would be very disappointing for me because I'm meeting Evelyn tomorrow at 2 p.m. at CMD. And I, I am, um, after 2 p.m., I basically have like about one and a half hours to kill. And um, I wouldn't know, I mean, to be fair, if I meet Evelyn at 2 p.m. and we hang out for about half an hour, um, I have a one hour to kill. But that's a lot of time. And if Film 32 is not a thing, then like, where the hell should I go? So yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll walk to McDonald's and eat something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's that. And um, whew, Sansai Japanese Grill. It's actually been a while since I've had Sansai Japanese Grill. Good, good restaurant. I like it. It's cheap. It's got the meats and the vegetables. It's legit good. It's one of the better restaurants I've been in LA. Oh well. In West LA at least. Um... I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, not much else. Um, apparently Thomas got into LMU, so congratulations. Um, and it's freaking awesome because I'm real low key in film thirty three. But I got connections. Like I know people. When Leslie showed up, I bet. 80% of the class didn't know Leslie personally or haven't even seen her before. I, out of everyone, I probably know her the most. Um, but I'm just being a pride, prideful, cocky boy right now. Maybe that's not true. I also got connections with Betsy and Michelle, who are not affiliated with the film program anymore. Betsy is affiliated, but Michelle just wants to try to stay away as much as possible, but I got connections still. Um, I'm also building connections with other people. So I think UPM is really the spot for me. Um, yeah, and I also want to, um, if I become a UPM, I will also look for PAs and that would be a great excuse for me to visit other Film 32s. Um, that would be a great excuse for me uh, for fun, of course. Like, I, I am fucking insane. I don't do things for job. I do things for fun, okay? So, um, and I'm going to be, like, the second coming of Michelle. 
just like how Michelle visited us last semester and dressed in all black and wearing sunglasses, I'm gonna do the exact same. I have, I have the jacket and pants necessary to do that. So I'm gonna do that. And, um, and I even got connections. I got Cliff from the Friday 32. I got Leslie from the Wednesday 32. I am rolling. So um, yeah, that's pretty much what happened today. I am tired as hell. I didn't eat a lot of food. Um, I ate a chocolate and Nature Valley bar, but that's it. <sighs> Damn, it's getting worse. Okay, time now is um 12.23. I have a humongous dinner. Two chicken thighs. Um, what else did I eat? Oh yeah, mushroom fried garlic fried cabbage and then 360 mils of rice and it's so fucking filling. I almost couldn't finish the dinner. And it's been a while since that, since I felt this full from dinner. But I calculated, apparently it only reaches about 2,100 cal, so maybe I'll eat a jelly cup later. Um, I don't know, but anyways, there's that. Um, yeah, and uh, also the broccoli bacon salad box that I didn't finish yesterday. I had a two-hour phone call with Michelle. Yes, two hours. Actually, probably more than that. Yeah, I had a two-hour phone call with Michelle from before I um, from from before I started cooking to after I I finished washing the dishes. I was calling her the whole time, and I don't know why, but a lot of things went wrong today during cooking. Not well, a couple of things. When I put the rice, the white rice, into the small container to measure the rice, the small cup. It kept falling apart. The rice kept coming out of the bag. It's so fucking annoying. And I seldom have this issue. I don't know why I'm having it today. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to complain about. Um, so tomorrow is flex day. There's a faculty meeting. Meaning that... Um, um, I won't go to college at 2 p.m. Because... Evelyn doesn't even have class tomorrow, so Evelyn won't even go. So maybe next Friday I'll go. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Yeah, this means I won't go to uh, CMD tomorrow at 2 p.m. I will go at 4. I'll go at 3 uh, to prepare for the script writing club. I'll go at th I'll leave at 3 and arrive at around 3.30. Or actually, I'll go a little earlier because I need to go to Target to buy a alcohol spray. And uh, I also want to buy earplugs um, and like a headband just in case my hair grows long enough. I don't know. Um, or should I order on Amazon? Maybe that's better. No, but the alcohol spray is better if I buy it in Target. Um... Yeah, so unfortunately I won't be able to see Evelyn and nothing interesting will happen tomorrow other than the first group writing club meeting. Um, yeah. Um, not much else. Um, oh yeah, uh, I and Michelle, we talked about everything from film to... Film 33 to uh, the, the drama. So there's so much drama. There's an insane amount of drama. Um, that's just a, like kind of crazy. Um, there's, first of all, there's this whole thing. The reason why I called, uh, why Michelle called me is because she wants to tell me about Dane. So Dane is the gay white dude who is really nice and he wants to make a horror short film and... I decided to help him as second AD. Um, and he, for the last couple of months, he has been having issues with um, borrowing the auditorium to film his short film for, um, yeah, to film a short film. Um, and then um, he just couldn't do it because the school um, doesn't have a policy allowing film club to film now Alba used CMD to film her short film and that's okay because that's not film club affiliated but since the Dane short film is film club affiliated 
it needs to get approval from the very, very higher ups. And apparently the Mexican professor isn't even the most higher up. Like there are people who are even more powerful than him. Surprisingly, I didn't even know that. And so Betsy basically contacted the very, very higher ups, a woman, um, and there, and Betsy's handling the situation and Betsy finds it very frustrating as well. And there seems to be hope. Maybe finally the school will allow film club to actually shoot in CMD legally, unlike what Aoba did, which, which was kind of guerrilla styled, even though the professors didn't really care, but it was actually not within policy. Um, so, um, but that said, it's still a very, you know, long process that's taking a lot of time and Dane ran out of patience and Dane started complaining. He sent a super long email and text message to Betsy, really angry rant, essentially, saying that the college is plotting against him, is trying to prevent him from doing great things, is trying to silent his voice, and he's thinking about dropping out of school. Uh, he thinks uh, we should all stand up against the authorities. Um, and Betsy was kind of annoyed. And then, worse yet, Dane directly emailed the super higher-ups. Uh, one of the super higher-ups, which was a huge no-no. And if Dane managed to piss off one of the super higher-ups, uh, the super higher-ups would have the power to destroy Film Club. And that's extremely dangerous. And that would actually literally affect me because I'm part of Script Writing Club, which is a sister club to Film Club. So, uh, yeah, that, that would also be bad. And it would also be bad if Dane directly emails the Mexican professor because the Mexican professor is also somewhat somehow involved. Um, we, and then there's this whole thing with, um, um, Rigatoni has a short film out and last Sunday it screened at the Chinese theater. Michelle, Betsy, and a few other people went there to see it. And they saw a woman by the name of Joe Hira, who I have never seen before, but I've heard of. And apparently she asked Alba, not Alba, Alba, the Mexican girl, if she needs help for WoW, which she definitely did. But Alba turned down. And this was completely unknown to Rigatoni. Rigatoni didn't know that and he was surprised. So that's that. And apparently also... For the short film made in 2022 spring, which is a year ago, apparently the director and the Mexican professor had huge drama. And then we talked a little bit about Leslie and how she's crazy. And we came up with a nickname for her. She's called Crazy Baby <laughs> because she is a baby. She's three years younger than me, which is humongous. Like, I'm 20 and she's 17. If I'm 30 and she's 27, that's not a huge difference. But if I'm 20 and she's 17... That's a huge difference. It's all about the fractions, you know? 27 divided by 30, not big, but 17 divided by 20, it's a little bigger. Um, but yeah, that's all. So I'm not, I'm tired. I don't, I'm not even gonna watch a movie. I'll watch a few episodes of anime, that's it.